Okay, I'm going. Okay, here we have a Rosemount Model 3044 temperature transmitter. This is a smart instrument, so it's able to talk via the heart protocol to a computer. The computer in this case is a handheld communicator, the Model 375, and that talks to the heart transmitter, the smart transmitter, using frequency shift K signals, uh, 11, sorry, 1200 hertz and 2200 hertz for binary zero and one, sorry, one and zero respectively. What this is going to do is going to show up on the oscilloscope screen as being a waveform. And right now you don't see a waveform at all. In fact, what you see is just simply a straight line. We are tip right now reading voltage right across the communication terminals of the transmitter. And since there's no communication happening right now, we just see a DC voltage. And that's exactly what we see right here, just a plain DC voltage. I'll now go over to the heart communicator and acknowledge a few error messages. This transmitter does not have a sensor hooked up, and so what happens is it's not able to actually read temperature. It says that's an error and it refuses to communicate. If I blast past all these errors here, it will begin communicating. We can see on the oscilloscope screen, we have a, a little a pattern there. You can see ripples. If I try to expand this to get a better view, I turn the sensitivity up, the line goes right off the screen because I have too much DC voltage. So this is a great application for my AC coupling. I'll move that to AC, and now that automatically centers the line, I can turn the sensitivity up, and now we see the heart waveforms. These are the frequency shift keyed signals representing binary zeros and ones. The different heights come from the two different devices, the temperature transmitter versus the handheld communicator. They do not talk with the same voltage levels. So I'll go acknowledge the signal, uh, acknowledge the alarms over here. Again, once I blast past all those error messages and say, yes, I want to ignore the next 50 error messages, now we see communication again. Tall signals, short signals, uh, one is a uh, query, the other is a reply. It appears the tall signal is coming from the handheld communicator. It's the one that happens first. And the shorter signal is the reply, what's coming back uh, to the communicator from the transmitter. And you can see how messed up these signals look. They don't lock in and synchronize real nicely. That's because the frequency keeps shifting. They're frequency shift keyed signals. 2200 hertz for a binary zero and 1200 hertz for a binary one. And that is heart communication displayed on an oscilloscope.